All right, so I'm going to talk just briefly about doing a measure inside of an assembly. Here I've got my disk, here's my caliper subassembly, and my engineering connections. Basically, there's, these are my constraints. Now, when I go in and do a measure, you'll get a little message that pops up. You'll see it right at the top. It says, to persist a measure, you must activate insert a markup or create a review and markup. So what the interface is telling you, what 3D experience is telling you is if you want to keep the measurement, there are times where you want to keep a measurement for whatever purposes. If you want to keep that measurement, you have to have a markup or a review of some additional tool. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of this. Actually, let me let me go ahead and show you what uh, what happens all right so I'm gonna click on that measure from there uh, measure to there place my distance and you'll know that I don't have a keep measure button anywhere if I say keep only last measure and I select OK note that there's no measurement that's kept so if I want to keep a measurement I'm gonna go into product modification Okay. Now, under product modification, you'll have there's your insert new markup. You know, you got your drawings, 3D shape, all sorts of stuff you can do. For this, I'm going to do a markup because the little information note that popped up said, "Hey, if you do a markup, you can keep your information." So I'm going to do a markup. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to pick the top level of assembly, and I'm going to give this a name. Okay, this is my markup for the front brake assembly. If you have optional attributes, you want to go grab them, you can go grab them. I'm just going to leave everything as is. This is within the normal range. Engineering Evolution Classic is my collaborative policy. So all of this ties back into uh, Inovia and, and so on and so forth. So if you want to keep this, this becomes an item, has attributes, all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot of good stuff you can do with this once you create your product markup. So now there's my product markup. My insertion is successful. And just like that, there's my markup. Now, when I go in to my measure between, say, all right, I want to measure between this and this. Something magical happens, right? You'll note that now it says keep measure. I place the dimension. I should say measurement, not dimension. It's really a measurement. See, I have my uh, measure item in the tree. These are all of the different parameters I have specified. Well, maybe I don't want all those, right? I can come in here and turn on and off. Maybe I just want the distance. Okay. So I can turn all of that stuff off, keeping just the distance and select OK and just like that there is my measurement alright so if you want to keep your measurements within the context of your assembly you have to have that markup okay so maybe I want to measure from here over to this pad All right that back pad minimum distance keep the measurement select OK and just like that I have my new measurement all right so just a little hint I know uh, for some people that are just getting into 3d experience that are coming off of v5 this is a bit different so understanding that you put in a markup and you do all of your markup work in that file again I think this is a really good idea because I, now I can do all sorts of stuff in that markup right I, I can add slides I have notes and I can link back to that markup. There's, if I need to cross-reference, I have attributes, all sorts of really great stuff. Okay, so just a, a new way to add your measurements, which adds a lot of additional functionality.